Yeah, this is our Mark II uh, plasma board etching machine. If you see, this is its quiescent state. We'll walk up to the front of it. Russell. I'm going to turn it on, let it boot up. While it's booting up, I open the door. Inside is our board etching electrode. Every other shelf is ground and, and RF. The inside of the chambers are shielded. This is the gas delivery system here. And you can see on the bottom here, this is where the RF and the temperature control come in. So we'll go ahead and close this door. When you first come on up, come right on up tight. When you first fire this up, you'll see this screen. I'm going to start out the technician screen and walk through a few of the items in there so that we can understand how that works. Technician screen, when it's first fired up, you have the option of either sequence edit or configuration. I just want to walk quickly through the configuration to show you the gas configuration on this board here, this machine. We have five gases coming into it. We have two mass flow controllers. This is user selectable up here. If I was to tell it only three gases, I think it will eliminate. Yes, it does. It eliminates the, the rest of them. So we're on five, so I'll go back and reprogram that. We have all our correction factors in here. I'm going to leave this. Timer configuration. These are operational timers for the machine. All user selectable. Vacuum configuration. This is where we tell it what's connected to the software and how to set things up, our set point for the vacuum. The RF configuration is where, again, we tell it what uh, is connected to the software and how to work around it. Temperature configuration tells it that we have an internal temperature control on this particular machine and we have a high temperature set point on it that will alarm if it exceeds that. Miscellaneous configuration, this is where we name the machine, we set the password levels, and we can do some other little things here like tell it to skip the cycle off or skip the purge and we can switch between minutes and seconds. And we can also tell it this particular software goes for multiple machines so we're telling it that it's on our Mark II. Uh, we'll exit from there, exit back out completely, then go to the sequence edit, enter the sequence edit. We have multiple sequences that we can enter and name. This one here, I'm going to enter one. I want to name it um, DEFG, enter. I'm going to say I want uh, 20 minutes. RF power on this one, we're going to say 1500 watts. And we're going to select the gas. Now we can select any of the five gases. I'm going to select CF4 for gas one. And I'm going to select O2 for gas two. And every time you select one, it tells you how much gas you can put through it. So we want to put in, I'm going to say about oh, 350 cc's and 350 cc's, which is a, probably a fairly typical recipe. And our temperature, we want to set the temperature probably 200 degrees for a board etch. Enter that. Now we have a recipe. We can save it. We can exit back to the first screen. And we can see now that we have DEFG entered. Oop, excuse me. Let's go back. Exit out of this screen. We're going to exit one more time back to where we started. Now we're going to go to the main screen. At the main screen, you can see this is kind of our operational screen. And we can come in and we can start up the vacuum pump. Oh, we got to turn it on here. Safety switch. Start up our vacuum. Start up our RF. Fire up our temperature control. Now we can come in here and we can load our recipe that we wrote earlier, which is DEFG. And we're going to select that, load and exit. And as you can see, it comes up here. We have the 20 minutes that we entered, 1500 watts, 350 cc's of each gas as, as we entered it. We can put the machine in standby, which puts the machine under uh, the chamber under vacuum. And now we're going to go ahead and put it into plasma. At that point in time, the machine is going to give you this screen here, which is a, oh, so much, a visual representation of what's going on inside of the chamber. It shows you the actual gas flows, shows you the actual RF, any reflected power that you might have, shows you your actual temperature, gives you the sequence and the name, shows you your vacuum levels, and if you watch the vacuum levels, you'll see they start dropping very quickly once we uh, get going here. Once it hits our set point of 200 millitor, at that point in time, our gas valves were open. We will give it a few seconds uh, of time for the gas stabilization period, then we'll start up our RF. And you can see the pressure is dropping quite rapidly. We have a, uh, two pumps on here. One is a, a base pump and one's a booster pump, the root style. So we're now under operation. You can see if you look through the hole, you can see we do have plasma. 
and it's very quickly a nice gets a nice pretty uh, lavender color to it blue blue lavender color and now I'm going to go back to the main screen because I don't want to run this too long so I'm going to zero out the plasma time and at the end of the plasma what will happen is it will stop the gas stop the RF it will then pump the chamber down to oh, excuse me it purges it for a few seconds so we get some fresh air in there then it purges it back out pumps down to the 200 millitor level and at that point it will trigger the blank off valve to close the then valve to open you can hear the, the blank off back there doing its thing and as soon as the pressure is equalized then we can open the chamber while it's doing that we'll take a quick tour around the inside of it Down below, that's our RF generator, solid state, water cooled. Up here you can see we have a matching network. PLC controls are in the back here, a little tough to see, but they're there. Okay, we take a quick tour around the back. This is our vacuum pump. Oh yeah, vacuum pump, that's our PLC again. On this side here, this is our temperature control and where all the power controls are for the unit. And let's go around to the far side here and look at the gas board. And down here are the gas board. This is the steering, what we call a steering matrix, where we have two mass flow controllers on this unit. You can have three or four if you want. But we have it set up so with these two mass flow controllers, and we have the ability to steer five different gases through it with the software, just like you saw on the screen. Here's a matching network for this unit. Matching network, the generator always wants to see a 50 ohm load, and that's what the matching network does. It adjusts the load to, to the generator to make it happy. All right, back around the front here. We're venting, venting the chamber. It has an atmospheric vent timer. Typically we set that for a longer period of time than it takes to actually open the door. But as you can see, once you open the door, the timer zeroes out. Okay, that's good.